everyone, I'm Nadine and welcome to Bookish Nook. Today I am doing the Halloween book tag. I wanted to do something really fun this month for Halloween and I decided that I wanted to make a book tag. But when I um, googled Halloween book tag, this one came up and I thought it was perfect, but I just added one question at the end. So yes, this was created by the Library of Sarah, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm mistaken, but a link to that video will be down below. So the first question is, what is your favorite horror book? And for that, I'm going with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert uh, Louis Stevenson. Um, this is my like super old copy that's like falling apart, but I definitely love this book. It's, it's not the scariest book I've ever read by far, but it's definitely an awesome book to read around Halloween. The second question is the scariest moment in a book and for that it's more I have more of a generic answer and that is whenever a favorite character dies in a book and that is always a scary moment. The third question is would you or have you ever dressed up as a character for Halloween and that I have I have dressed up as a Hogwarts student for Halloween once. Yes, that's me in the middle and my friend uh, dressed up as Luigi and my other friend dressed up as sort of like a cancer patient. He was really good with like prosthetics and stuff. So yes, um, and I also dressed up as Samara from The Ring. Um, I don't have a picture of me dressed up as her, but it was like grade 7 and I dressed up with her as her because I loved that movie in grade 7. Fourth question is, what do you think your favorite character would dress up for Halloween? And for that, I know exactly what it is. Katie and Damon would dress up as... Gremlins! Um, I know Jennifer L. Armand wrote, wrote a short story of them Halloween costume shopping and someone drew this awesome fan art. The fifth question is what is your favorite kind of horror book and for that I'm going with psychological thrillers. More recently Gone Girl um, is a great example of it. I have ventured into the horror genre and I was thoroughly disappointed. I remember researching the scariest book I could find and a book called The Prayer by Al Raines came up and it took me forever to find a copy. When I finally did, I was so excited to read it because it was dubbed the scariest book you'll ever read. And I remember it being so awful. The back says, say your prayer before you sleep and when you wake your dreams will be real. What are you dreaming of? And it's essentially kind of like one of those email chain letters. If you don't forward this to 20 people, you know, a girl covered in blood is going to meet you tonight or something like that. But either way, it sucked. The sixth question was, if books were candy, which books would you give out for Halloween? And for those, I would probably give some Cassandra Clare away, some Jennifer L. Armentrell, a Be the Beth Revis's Across the Universe. Just some of my favorites who spread the word of them. Also, if you go to your local comic book store, I'm sure they'll have it, is they have these mini comics that you can buy for $4.99 and you get 20 of them and you can hand those out for Halloween, which is an awesome idea as well. The seventh question is, what is your Halloween to read list? And I only have three books on my list uh, right now, and that is Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, and this follows none other than Hannibal Lecter, and I am so excited to dive into this. The second book is... This is Not a Test by Courtney Summers. This follows a group of teens who are stuck in a school, I think it is, during the zombie apocalypse, but it focuses more on their relationships and um, the dynamics that happens to a relationship during the zombie apocalypse. But I've heard nothing but good things about this. And the cover, if you can see that, is so nice and it's got like a little bit of blood spatter, so it looks fantastic. And the last book I have is Witches of East End by Melissa De La Cruz. I'm hoping to read this really soon since it's short and watch the TV show. The eighth question is to recommend some Halloween reads and I have four recommendations for you. The first recommendation I have for you is The Killer Book of Serial Killers by Tom and Michael Philbin. This book follows I think about 20 or 30 so serial killers, real serial killers. It gives like a brief, different, um, kind of like a little really brief of their life and then um, a summary of what they did and there's a bunch of pictures in it and it's divided by um, countries so you have um, Canadian American and then overseas serial killers which is pretty cool and there's a bunch of pictures and this is like a perfect starting point if you're interested in um, serial killers um, I know this is an awful book to read around Halloween because it is scary 
The second book I have is The Killer Book of Cold Cases, also but the same authors. Um, this one follows a bunch of cold cases, so cases that haven't been solved. Once again, it's um, a very short definite um, description of what happened with, ser with pictures and like potential suspects and what have you. The third book I have to recommend is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, following the Gillian Flynn bang bandwagon here. I read this last year. It follows this woman named Day, I think it is, Libby Day, and her entire family was slaughtered by um, a cult, and she was the only one who survived, as well as her older brother, who she pointed at as being the killer, and then a group of... Um, fanatics contacts her and says that her brother didn't do it and you follow a investigation from there it is fantastic um, not as good as Gone Girl but definitely darker than Gone Girl and the last book I have to recommend you is of course the classic Dracula by Bram Stoker no Halloween is complete without the classic Dracula um, this is definitely a fantastic book I loved every second of it it's written in diary format and it is pretty creepy so my bonus question for this tag is what book scares you that wasn't necessarily meant to be scary or spooky and for that I have two answers. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and 1984 by George Orwell. I picked these simply because of how real and how many parallels there are to our society right now so they are pretty creepy when you think of the implications. So that is the Halloween book tag. This is a lot of fun so definitely do it if you're interested. Thanks for watching!